Hey you guys, welcome back to the channel, and this be your boy Fernando Soto Star. So today, I'm just home, chilling around, and I'm about to watch some Netflix and review some shows that I've been watching lately, and maybe y'all can tell me about what y'all have been watching, and let me know if you've watched any of the shows that I'm about to mention today. Um, most of the time when I'm watching Netflix, it'll be when I come home from work. And if I'm not watching Netflix, I'm probably scraping my bunions off my feet or playing in my hair. So, let's see what's on and go from there. So stay tuned guys. So lately, I've kind of been watching a couple of things, starting with this. So, this show, I believe, is very interesting and very crazy. A lot of the stunts you can see, a lot of the people either attempt them and succeed, or they'll either fail and you'll see some injuries happen. It's very crazy and it's nothing like I've ever seen before. Then we have this show. So, 100% hotter. It, it's a very good show, um, but I feel like it can be a little bit much on how shady they can be. Um, and then like, they have a scale from like one to 10 that they ask the public to rate these people as and I think that's my stuff which I don't really like um, but overall the transformation that they do with the people is very very like dope they come out looking way hotter than they once were not saying that they were not hot but these people have made them look like most definitely like something. And one of the people in here was like crying because like she never seen herself like that. And that was just like, you know, very cool to see because some people don't know how they look. I don't know, it's just crazy. You just have to watch it for yourself and see if you like it, guys. Or if you already saw it, tell me what you think about it. Do you think the people in there are kind of shady? Or what? What do you think?
So, when it comes to Skin War, or Skin Wars, is like my favorite show. I've watched every season, and I'm always fascinated in, you know, the competition of it all, how they do everything, how things are going to end up coming out. It's not so much I can really say about Skin Wars, but I always like watching stuff like that. The Haunting of Hill House. This show, I believe, was a very good show. One of my customers at Starbucks told me about it. And, you know, I decided to actually watch it all. And I finished the season in, like, probably less than a day. It's only 10 episodes, so it's not much. But... She was really scared of it. Um, I wasn't really scared of it. I liked, you know, them being adults and then them showing how they lived in the house when they were kids. And, you know, I felt like the story was like very intense, you know, with the twins and then, you know, the whole thing about with the mom, um, it was, I don't know, I felt like it was really good, but it wasn't scary to me. I could see the potential in where it could have been scary, um, but to me it wasn't really that scary, but if you watched it, you let me know if you were scared of it or not. Um, but it was a good show for Halloween and I enjoyed it for the most part. Even though in the very beginning I did fall asleep on it. Um, but I do that with a lot of scary shows slash movies. But I did end up watching all of it and it was good for the most part. So, the show Locked Up Raw is very, very crazy, um, but I do like it. It gives you an insight into what goes on in prison and in jail. Um, it tells you a little bit about each inmate and, you know, what goes on and what they have to endure and how they're thinking and all that type of stuff um i like to actually watch a lot of prison and jail shows um because i like to like get into all of that and you know it sucks that there's a lot of people in prison and in jail um so yeah i just watch it because i feel like it's entertaining um and it's always good to see that the crazies that actually need to be there are actually in there because we crazy people in jail and in prison these videos, puberty for boys is like Barbie bra. Oh, yeah. And for girls, we're just a yarn ball of aching tubes. Oh, my God. Oh. Everything's embarrassing. Everything is so embarrassing. Girls are boys.
42. Hello, Andrew. This might be rare for you. What are you saying? That most of the time I'm going to like girls and they won't like me back, so I should seize this opportunity? Yeah, that makes sense. So, if you don't know, one of my biggest and favorite shows of all times on Netflix is Big Mouth. It's a very funny show about sex. It's a pretty, it's a bit much for a show. It, it kind of reminds me of Sausage Party, um, but not quite, but kind of almost there. The hormone monsters are all like very funny. Um, the gymnasts, our gym teacher that's there is very interesting and creepy. Um, but it's a very good show um, if you're looking to laugh and just waste time and for the most part, it's one of my favorite shows that I've watched and now there's two seasons out and I've kind of pretty much watched all of it. Y'all should definitely check out the show because it is funny and it's very entertaining. It's nothing else I can say other than that. So, I don't know. If you guys have watched it, definitely leave a comment below. Tell me what you think about it. And if it's too much, because it's much, but funny. Tales from the Hood 2. Guys, when I say I don't know what the hell I was watching, I mean it. It is a little bit funny, but it is slightly yeah, interesting. It's this black man, you know, narrating different stories to this white guy that seems somewhat racist um, but the story that this Afri African American guy is telling is very interesting and like it's like no other I've never seen the show like this it is very different um, some of the stories are very stupid but funny um, so if you're looking for something, you know, worth laughing or screaming about, I would say try this out and let me know what you think about it because to me it was pretty interesting to say the least. I'd like to describe myself like Bruce Swain. During the day I'm a business owner, I'm a teacher and a mentor. And by night, I slap this wig on, and it's like my cape. Talk about a dream come true. My plan is to conquer this country one competition at a time. To better dance, it's all about winning. Second place is for losers. We want first place. Uh, hold up, darling diva. For my last show review, I would like to recognize Dancing Queens because I do love um, Alyssa Edwards. <laughs> um, I used to watch his um, YouTube videos and it was named Alyssa's Secrets and I'll, I also did watch RuPaul's Drag Race and I got to see him in that so I feel like I've been kind of a part of his journey and to see this episode come out of his 
where you know you get to see part of him being a drag queen and part of him dancing and teaching kids how to dance and them going to performances and you know the little challenges and then winning like I love this show kind of like a spin-off to Dance Moms but kind of not but in some ways I feel like they're somewhat similar but I enjoy this more because like you know he's a drag queen and he's a dance artist and I just F's with it you know it's very engaging it's always something new to watch and you never know what's gonna happen with the moms like you know dance moms are crazy so to see the turnout of how the moms are acting with him is very cool but you guys definitely let me know what you guys are watching on TV or Netflix or Hulu whatever you watch let me know let me know if you've seen any of the shows that I've mentioned today um, and let me know about anything that I should give a try because there are some new things on Netflix right now um, so I do have a lot to catch up on with the new shows that they have out so I have the time, so I might as well watch some of them and, you know, let y'all know what I think about them. But, thanks for watching this. Definitely subscribe, like, and comment, guys. It all means a lot, and your support goes a very long way for me. And this is something that I love doing, and I'm going to continue. And... Till then, peace, love, hope.